Hello, this is Mel Harbour and welcome to the first of many ESO tutorials. Uh, if you didn't know, ESO is the Elder Scrolls Online. It is a MMORPG. It's very time consuming. Uh, as I said in the last video, the whole point of this is to help inexperienced players get into this game, really enjoy it, without having to hassle the players who do play a lot, because they've also got their own things to do in the game. So as you see, this is my character. Um, my level is 466 champion. That's what a little symbol means. We'll get into leveling systems in another video. My race is Red Guard. My class is Sorcerer. My alliance is the Ebonheart Pact. And my location, you don't need to worry about that. It's just where you'll spawn into the game. But I am in East March currently, so Windhelm. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to create a new character. When you're in there, the first thing to come across is gender. This doesn't affect gameplay at all, it just affects how the armour looks on your body and what your appearance is overall. The next main thing to choose is Alliance, and Alliance really does factor into the game, especially PvP elements, and if you don't have the DLC, where you start your story. So, um, your alliances can be Aldemiri Dominion, Evan Heart Pact, or the Daggerfall Convent. Now, the way I chose this was I had a lot of friends playing in the Ebonheart Pact. Uh, I have guilds that play on there, so if um, and they need you to play PvP on that, or you are against them, you can't play with them. Um, with the other two, with the other two, um, I'm against them obviously. But if you don't have friends like I did choosing these uh, to choose your alliances, the next thing is to do race. Now I can choose any race, and I have the Imperial race because I've got the DLC. But when you initially spawn into the game, if you don't have any of the DLC, you'll get a choice of if you are the Alde Aldemir Dominion, you can either be, there we go, a High Elf, a Wood Elf, or a Khajiit. If you are the Ebonheart Pact, you can either be a Dark Elf, a Nord, or an Aragonian. And finally, if you are the Daggerfall Convent, you can be a Breton, a Red Guard, and an Orc. So if you did not know what to choose as your alliance, but you really wanted to create an Orc character, you're clearly going to be the Daggerfall Convent. It makes me mind for you. Now, obviously, each of the racial skills do differ when choosing a character, um, as you need to focus on stamina, magicka, and health recovery. Uh, some have more power, so more weapon damage. Uh, and if you if you're someone's choose, every time you look at these, they've each got a little description when you go on them. Uh, Imperial is all rounded. You can play as any alliance, and if you really want to be, say, a Khajiit, but you want to play as the Ebonheart Pact, all you have to do is go into the game, buy the DLC for any alliance, any race, and you're all sorted. Next is your class, and your class is a little bit more complicated. The Warden and the Necromancer can only come into play once you've got the Elsewhere DLC for the Necromancer and the uh, Morrowind DLC for the Warden. Now, just a warning about the Necromancer, as it says there, a lot of the abilities are a criminal act. So if you do this in front of people, you can get arrested, you can get bounties, uh, etc. So you will become a criminal, you become notorious, and if you do it enough, um, guards will hunt you down and kill you. I am a sorcerer, but ultimately it's what you feel most comfortable playing. As a new player, if you've got elsewhere, I highly recommend Necromancer. At the current time now, it is very overpowered. We don't know what's going to happen when Greymoor comes out in June, but at the moment it's very overpowered, and it's one of the best ones in the game. Warden is also another very good class. Uh, it's got an ability to spawn a bear to fight alongside you. It's used a lot, but it can be quite easy to kill. Uh, Nightblades are quite bad, I think, at the moment. A lot of people do not like Nightblades. Um, Dragon Knight seems to be extremely popular, but I work as a sorcerer. It works a lot, but it's quite hard to build up your uh, DD or damage dealt um, or DPS damage per second. It's quite hard to build up, but we'll go into that more on another video. Obviously, you've got your appearance. This doesn't fully matter when explaining how to choose your character. So after that, you would choose your name and spawn in on 
be a tutorial. Now, if you have certain attributes in this game, so say if you um, so if you have the DLC, so if you have elsewhere, you'll have a tutorial in elsewhere. If you have Somerset, you have a tutorial in Somerset, Morrowind, etc. If you do not, you will do the typical Cold Harbor opening, like I had to do back in 2014, I think this game came out. So just be be wary that your tutorial will differ. On this video, unfortunately, I'm not going to go through the tutorial because I can do a lot of what the tutorial teaches you in my own game, on my own character. But that there is the basis for choosing your character. You can also preview your champion gear, etc. But a lot of the time, my gear, as you saw, does not look a lot like any of these. But yeah, that is ultimately the game. So I'd like to thank you for watching the character creation tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any specific requests, you can comment down below and we will go through them. Uh, the next I'm going to do um, will probably be what you can find around Tamriel, maps, etc. And we might touch a little bit of DLC, but DLC is going to be a separate video altogether. So I thank you all for watching. If you like this series, give us a like and subscribe. We're doing a lot more than this. And thank you for sticking around. Thank you very much.